unto you as unto children. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, which is correction, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. Your flesh doesn't want to hear it. But guess what? We don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness. I understand that. I understand that. What if one day, like, you figure out you just, like, have an epiphany and you just... I don't believe in Jesus. I'm not wrong. What do you believe in? Okay, well... I believe in Jesus Christ as Lord. I don't believe in Jesus. Then, then you're condemned already. But you're trying to tell me that you don't believe in Jesus. So it's okay for you to tell me what you don't believe, but you're not going to tell me what you do. I want you to know I think you're very wrong. Well, that's fine, but and guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess people. what? Guess what? The book of opinions is not in the Bible. Anyways. And you're trying to tell me what it is. Anyways. Anyways. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Jesus said, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. So if you choose to go to hell, if you choose to live in your sin, that's on you. That's not on me. That's not on God. That's on you. You choose this. A song promoting lesbianism. And this is what parents send their kids to. A song promoting lesbianism. A video promoting lesbianism. And this is what we send our little girls off to. And this is what we send our girls off to. Shout for the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Your grace is sufficient for me, Lord, Father God. Hallelujah. We love you, Jesus. I will see you in hell. I will be in hell. Sorry, but you will be. You will be. Unless you repent, but guess what? Guess what? It's not too late for you. You can still repent. It's very too late for you. Oh, Lord rebuke you, Jezebel. Lord rebuke you, Jezebel. Yes, Jezebel. Jezebel. What does that mean? Exactly. They don't even know what Jezebel means, but they're operating in that spirit. No favor. Anyways, enough of these Jezebels. The book of 1 John. This was John's last exhortation at the book of 1 John. He said, little children, little children, keep yourself from idols. I called you a Jezebel, but interpret it how you want. You can define it however you want. I called you a Jezebel. I called you a Jezebel. However you interpret it is on you. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. We got money. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. And this is our future. The future is love and acceptance. You have an honest genuine question. You have an honest genuine question. Are you here or not? I'm not talking about that. All right, what do you got? Okay. I want to have a question. What do you think about the dude that ran up in Orlando? What do I think about him? Yeah. I think he was under my control. What do you think he did for the people? What he did? I think he was a paid government operator. Honestly. You can laugh all you want. He did it because of the Quran. Okay, I'm not. And you look just as fucking crazy as him. I'm not a Muslim. So I don't go with you. You are just as fucking no, crazy Muslims as him. Muslims are evil. Yeah. Record this guy. Record this guy. Yeah, record him. Record this guy. Okay? Because he's just as fucking crazy as him. As the guy that ran up here on the land. Oh, that's so funny. Just Google Demi Lovato, street preaching Demi Lovato. It'll show up tomorrow. Is that how you get your word out? You say you got off somebody else's back. Anyways, back to the word. Demi Lovato gives more money than you. Why, out of all the places, you can preach, you cannot lie this content. Why? Yeah. To church.
to, to, to warm up Sarah's for that and to tell but people. But why give him the bottle and Nick Jonas? Like why? Why not? At all. We, we, we were at, hold on, we were at Beyonce, we were at Rihanna, we were at Selena Gomez, we were at Bieber. We were at Kirk Franklin. Do you have in your heart? I love you enough to tell you the truth. Are you a lesbian? Then why do you care so much? Oh my god. It seems like, it seems like, it seems like the biggest thing. Why do I care? Why do I care? Because I don't want your kind to rape my children. That's why. I don't want your kind. Anyways, anyways, that's nice, that's nice, you lost that picture. And this is your future, America, and this is your future, America. I didn't say that. No, I didn't. You just said that. You just said that. Oh my gosh. Don't ask me like you rape children, you know what I mean? Anyways. He rapes kids at night time, guys. Anyways, and this is your future, America. No, you shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves of mankind. That means a homosexual. Nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit Where's that biblical? Do you fall in love like you fall in a pool? Like you fall in a puddle of mud? I mean, come on, really? I just happen to fall in love. Oh, I fell in love. This is ridiculous. They don't even know what love is. You can't know. If you don't know God, you don't know love. And it's obvious the youth in America, the vast majority of them, don't know God. And this is the problem today. This is the problem today. But you know what, Lord, Father God, I pray right now in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord. I pray. I pray that these kids repent, Father God. I pray they repent. I pray they repent, Lord. No, you cannot talk. I don't talk to mockers and scoffers. I don't talk to effeminate queers like you. I make money. I don't talk to effeminate queers like this guy. What a bald head and monkey ears. And he sits outside of concerts where girls be making millions of dollars. Just keep reading the word. Well, this has been this has been the word for tonight. These six things doth God doth the Lord hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. He hates a proud look. Look at all the pride out here tonight, America. This is your country. This is your youth. This is your future, America. I hope you're happy. I hope you're happy. But guess what? Read Revelation 18. We'll see what happens to America. That's right. Oh, there's more. There's more. God hates all workers of iniquity. It's in the Bible. All workers of iniquity. He also hates a lying tongue. He hates hands that shed innocent blood, like all those that abort babies. I don't ever tell a lie. Yeah, but you curse out of that mouth. Oh shit! Am I gonna burn in hell for fucking cursing? If you don't repent, possibly. If you don't repent, possibly. Hey, you can mock God all you want. You can mock him to me, but you're not gonna mock him on the day of judgment. I mean, I'm just gonna let you know now. I'm not. Hey, I'd rather be a slave to God than a slave to sin. I'd rather be. A, I'd rather be a slave to God than a slave to idolatry. Oh, you. Listen how you talk. Listen, hey, 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 check this out. Hey, check this video out on YouTube and you can check yourself out. You can check yourself out. You can check yourself out and see how you act. Anyways, anyways, so what else does God hate? What else does God hate? He hates a heart that divides wicked imagination. And look at the hearts of these children out here tonight. Wicked imaginations in their mind. And what else does God hate? He hates feet that be swift and running to mischief. And look at all this mischievous youth out here. Cussing out grown men. Flipping off grown men. Flipping off this guy. Anyways. 
So what else does God hate? God hates a false witness that speak lies. God also hates those that sow a discord among brethren. This is what God hates. But what else does God hate? It says, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. I hate evil. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil and pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the thrower mouth do I hate. So God hates pride. He hates evil. He hates arrogancy. He hates a thrower mouth. He hates those that speak things out their mouth. They don't know what they're speaking. This is what God hates. And why? Because if God loves, he must hate. He created hell for those that don't love him. For those that choose to live in their sin. That's why he created hell. Does that sound like a loving God? I got salt on your lips. It's loving enough. Love it's loving you. enough that God extends his mercy out to people. He extends his mercy out to the whole world by sending his son to die on the cross. And what do they do? They reject his mercy. They spit on his word. They spit on his book. They spit on his preachers. That's what they do. They mock and they scoff. Just like they mocked and they scoffed Jesus. Just like they whipped Jesus. Just like they laughed at Jesus. Ha ha ha. Oh, prophesy thou now who's the son of God. And they mock Jesus. But guess what? They won't be mocking him on the day of judgment. They're going to wish for the day of judgment they didn't mock him. This guy right here, I pray it be possible he can repent. I pray this guy can come to God. I pray that the Lord draws him. I pray the Lord draws him. That's, you know what? That's my prayer. Maybe that's why the Lord has come. Don't touch him. Don't touch him. Don't touch him. Maybe that's why he has come. Don't touch him. Oh, he just assaulted me. Oh, really? Y'all saw it. Oh, 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 False witness. The very false. Hey, guess what? We have it all on camera. We have it all on camera. We have it all on camera. Hey, we have it all on camera. We have it all on camera. You got it on camera. And you don't see it. You got it on camera. Don't tell these grown men how to do their job. Why are you teaching grown men how to do their job? Do their job? No, 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 no. And you see, look it, because they know. These men know. They know what's in stake for their son. Because what? Guess what? These guys are Christians. Those guys are Christians. That's right. You're not a Christian. I know. The Bible says those who are born of God. Do yeah. Look how they get quiet now. Look how they get quiet now. Look how they want. Look how they want the preacher to go to jail. That's America for you. This is your youth, America. I hope you're happy. I hope you're happy. How many people convert like daily? None. None. It's not my job to convert. That's on Jesus. That's Jesus. What's my point? To call sinners to repent. Guess what Jesus said? Guess what Jesus said? Guess what Jesus said? The first thing Jesus said when he started his ministry. They're going to love this one. Oh, yeah. They're going to love this one. Matthew 4, 17. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That was the first thing Jesus said when he started preaching, was repent. He calls men to repent. He died on the cross. He died for your sins. He didn't die for you. He died for your sins. He died for your sins so you no longer have to live in them. That's why he died for your sins. That's why he died on the cross. And look how they're trying to bear false witness. And you see the cops are not too quick to go to his rescue, are they? Bearing false witness. God hates pride. God hates pride. He doesn't love everyone. No, he doesn't. He hates the workers of iniquity. God didn't make them gay. No, they're not. See, and this, this is what public education gets you. This is what public education gets you. And that's just as bad. Oh, oh. That's just Where did you go? Homeschool? I wish I was homeschooled. I wouldn't. The public school? You wouldn't what? 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 You w
Now what? Disseminate. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. And the scribes and Pharisees brought unto him a woman taken in adultery. And when they had set her in the midst, they say unto him, Master, this woman was taken in adultery in the very act. Now Moses in the law commanded us that such should be stoned. But what sayest thou? It's none of your business where he works. This they said, tempting him, that they might have to accuse him. But Jesus stooped down, and with his finger he wrote on the ground, as though he heard them not. So when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. And again he stooped down and wrote on the ground. And they which heard it, being convicted by their own conscience, Corinthians 2 3. Today I walked through the city of downtown. I saw Jimmy went out one by one, beginning at the eldest, even unto the last. And Jesus was left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. And when Jesus had lifted himself up and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are those thine accusers? Come on, quit. Excuse me. No, that's, oh, that's the door. Excuse you. That was the wind in our face. Oh, that was the wind. Now you're lying. Oh, now you're lying. You're instigating. Hey, I can say the Bible's fair. And I could say you're uh no, nah, I didn't say it. Anyways, as I was. Hey, the flag blows in your face. Don't talk about it. Alright, appreciate it. Words. Words are fine. Touch is not good, okay? Well, that's why I said when he put it in our face. He put it over her. Hey! 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 Anyways, back to the word. They hate the word. They'll do anything to try to stop the word, but guess what? Listen, this is temporary being on earth, but it's going to be forever. Yeah, and unless you repent, you're going to go to hell. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I said unless you repent. I said unless you repent. I'm not condemning you to hell. I said unless you repent. So that means you still have a chance. And they which heard it, being convicted by their own conscience, went out one by one, beginning at the eldest, even unto the last. And Jesus was left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. And when Jesus had lifted himself up, and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where art those thine accusers? Hath no man condemned thee? She said, No man, Lord. So she recognized him as God. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. So he's not saying, Oh, guess what? Hey, you can go continue being a whore. No, he said, Go and sin no more. He wants her to repent. He calls all men to repent. That is the only way. If there's no repentance in a person's life, they're not saved. So all these girls out here claiming they're Christians, but they're cussing me out, flipping us off. Trying to cause problems, no, trying to get me arrested, but it's not gonna work. Because <laughs> I'll bond out in five seconds, anyways. So nice try. all men everywhere to repent. What happened to the car? Anyways, he said, "Go and sin no more." Jesus Christ died on the cross for the sins of mankind, so they no longer have to live in them. Amen. They no longer have to live in them. That means we turn from our sins. This is our sin right here, and we turn from them unto God. God said, "No evil can dwell with Him in heaven. No evil can dwell with God in heaven. No evil can dwell with Him in heaven." God, in heaven. God hates pride. You guys only go to bands more. God hates pride. God hates pride. Quit quoting the Book of Opinions. Well, I've only read it like a hundred times tonight, but I guess I got to read it again for the biblical literate. Why am I? Why am I? Why am I? Jesus Christ. Why does it bother you? Anyways, these.
six things doth the Lord hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look. Proverbs 8, 13. I'll read it again. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, and arrogancy, and the evil way. And we've seen all that out here tonight. We've seen pride, we've seen arrogancy, we've seen the evil way, we've seen all manner of evil. But guess what? God hates that. But it's God, it's not God's will that any should perish, but that all should come unto repentance. It's not God's will. He does not take pleasure in the death of the wicked. So all you have to do is repent. It's that simple. Repent from your sins and turn to God. It's that simple. I don't know why we make that such a big deal. Why that's so difficult. I just want to know why you have it's not an opinion, it's a fact. The Bible fact. isn't fact, dude. Yes, it is. It's not. Yes, it is. I'm sorry. Yes, it is. That's, hey, that's your opinion. But I don't come from the book of opinions. I'm okay. sorry, I don't. I want to know why you can't just live side by side with people who think differently than you and deal with it. You want to know why? Live you want to know why? Life, you want to know why? Because this garbage is being forced down our throats. We're forced to accept homosexuality. We're about to be forced to accept pedophilia because now that homosexuals got their rights, the pedophiles are going for their rights next. And guess what? I'll be dang. I'll be dang if somebody tries to put their hands on my kids. Would you like that if someone tried to rape your kids? Please, hey, you know what? Exactly. I would exactly. Hate they can never answer that. They you know can what never I answer that. Like right there if somebody for it. Jesus like said. You Jesus being said. Being in front of my kid is what I worry about. I Jesus fear said, my child being around Jesus a said, fucking person think like you. Yeah, listen to that mouth. So yeah. say it the closer. I don't care because I'm not a Christian. I don't fucking believe that I, bullshit. Trust me, I can tell. I can oh, tell. I don't give a you fuck. Judge the tree by you fruit. Together? Anyways, I Jesus said, think not that I have come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. For I came to set a man at against his father. No, you don't. And the daughter against her mother. And the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Jesus didn't come with peace. He came to separate the wheat from the tares, the goats from the sheep, the children of obedience from the children of disobedience. If you disobey God, then we know where you're going. But I pray for your soul, young lady. I pray for your soul. I pray it be possible you repent and you get converted and you turn to Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Amen. And you quit speaking things you don't know. I'm struggling right now. No, right now I'm not struggling. Woo! What a fired up crowd tonight! This is your youth, America! But guess what? I do pray and I do believe there is still some hope. Amen. I, I believe there's some hope yet. Just Google, just Google Street Preaching Atlanta. You'll get your bolt loaded. We got, we got eight minutes. Eight minutes? Google Street Preaching Atlanta. You'll get your bolt loaded. Everyone's idols. We, we'll be at Drake. We'll be at Adele. How about this? Uh, yep. That's right. I'll give you anything, but how about you let me pray for you? Let's see. Oh, uh, no. Jesus freed me from sin. Thank you, Lord, Father God, for this evening, Lord. It got very tense. Lord, I just pray for the lost souls out here tonight, Lord. I pray in Jesus' name. I pray, Father God, I pray, Father God, that these lost souls, that they be, that, that one of them, at least one of them gets convicted, Father God. See, they act like they know you. They act like they know the thoughts of other people here. They say, wow, why are you here? You're not doing anything. This isn't doing anything. Well, they don't know the thoughts of people. They don't know when they go by their bedside at night that they cry out to you, Lord. They say, Lord, forgive me. Lord, forgive me for how I acted at that Demi Lovato concert tonight. That's what they'll be praying, Lord. I pray that one, at least one person will pray that tonight, Lord. Yeah, I pray Lord, that. I pray, I pray that hearts them, get Lord. convicted and their consciences get convicted, Father God, draw in the mighty them, name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We lift your name up on high, Father God. We glory you. We glory you and you alone in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.